How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to show you how you can use the for of loop within JavaScript. So, for of allows you to loop over an iterable object. This includes things such as arrays, strings, sets, HTML collection, things like that. So, we can start by defining a new array as an example. So we'll say const awr equals an array of just say three elements. So we'll say 10, 20, and then one string will say Dominic. All right. So now, previously, before the for of loop, you would have to do something like this. So you would say for, and then var i equals zero, i less than a double r dot length, and then i plus plus, and then inside here, you would then have to say, okay, variable elements equals a double r, at index i and then finally at this stage you have the element temporary variable using the for of loop this becomes much simpler so let's get rid of that and instead type out something like this so we'll say for and then const elements of a double r so now here we're saying that elements is the temporary I guess variable or value each one of these guys of this array. So now we can simply just say log elements. So if we save this one, go in the browser and then refresh, we see the elements logged out nice and good. So I used const here because I'm not actually going to be reassigning this variable inside here. If you were, you would say something like let instead. But I think most of the time, you'll find that const is the way to go. Now, as I said, this works with all iterable objects. So let's just say, okay, that was the example for arrays. We can also do it with strings. So we'll do strings here. We'll make a new string called, I don't know, name equal to Dominic. So now, we're going to use the same syntax. We'll say for const c, short for character, of name. We're going to simply just console.log c. So now we should get all the... Oh, what's going on? Okay, there we are. So now we should see all these seven characters in that name. So we'll save this one, go in the browser, and then refresh. And we see d-o-m-e-n-i-c. Perfect. Now, one more example with an HTML collection. So, let's make a new unordered list up top here with an ID of my list. Okay, we'll give this a few elements. We'll say bananas, pears, and apples. So now we're going to use the for of loop within the children of this list elements and then log out all of these elements individually. So, let's say HTML collection here, and we'll say, okay, const children, so children is gonna be all these list items in a HTML collection. So for all these children, we're gonna say equal to document dot get element by ID, my list, and then say dot query selector all and then ally you know what let's do this instead document dot query selector all and we'll say my list ally so now with this right here we're going to log out all of these list items so let's say all right for const list item of children log list item. Save this one, go in the browser and then refresh. We'll see how we go. And we get boom, all those right there. Perfect. And that is how you can use the for of loop within JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.